Have you ever stopped to think about what your eye colour might say about your overall health? Your eye colour may signal a predisposition to certain medical conditions. Sometimes your eye colour can also be linked to your risk of certain diseases. Eye colours vary from person to person, with standard shades including blue, brown, green and hazel. But did you know that the colour of your eyes is determined by genetics? Your eye colour is determined by the amount and distribution of a pigment called melanin in the iris of your eye. Melanin is also responsible for the colour of your skin and hair. Blue eyes. If you're blessed with mesmerising blue eyes, you may have an increased susceptibility to specific health conditions. Studies suggest that individuals with blue eyes may be at a higher risk of age-related macular degeneration, AMD, a leading cause of vision loss in older adults. Blue eyes are characterised by lower melanin levels in the iris, making them more vulnerable to damage from UV exposure. This heightened sensitivity to sunlight could contribute to the development of AMD over time. Eye cancer. Healthcare professionals specialising in eye care often advise individuals with blue eyes to wear sunglasses to help reduce their risk of eye cancers, such as ocular melanoma. Similar to how melanoma can affect the skin, it can also develop in the eye. Hearing loss. Research is ongoing into whether blue-eyed individuals are at a heightened risk for sensorineural hearing loss. This type of hearing loss originates from damage to the inner ear or the nerve that links the inner ear to the brain. Given that the inner ear utilises melanin, which is less prevalent in blue-eyed people, there might be a connection between eye colour and the susceptibility to hearing loss. Although a direct link between eye colour and hearing issues is not yet established, studies suggest that those with lighter eye colours experience more significant hearing loss following exposure to loud sounds. In a 2015 study called Eye Colour as a Risk Factor for Acquired Sensorineural Hearing Loss, Petrus Wardenberg first noted that deaf patients often had features such as white forelocks and light blue eyes. The connection between skin and eye pigmentation and hearing loss has been noted historically. Research has shown that the amount of melanin, which determines eye colour, can also affect hearing recovery times, with darker-eyed individuals recovering faster. Type 1. Diabetes. In a study focusing on Caucasians in Mediterranean regions, researchers found that individuals with blue eyes and fair skin have a higher risk of developing type 1 diabetes, T1D. This pattern mirrors findings in Northern Europe and helps explain why T1D rates differ between Northern and Southern Europeans. The study compared people with and without T1D, noting significantly higher rates of blue eyes among those with the disease. Green and hazel eyes. Green eyes are the rarest colour, with only 2% of the world population naturally having green eyes. The largest concentration of green eyes is found in Ireland and Scotland. We encourage you to show your support by liking this content and subscribing to our channel for health and nutrition information. Individuals with enchanting green or hazel eyes possess a unique blend of pigments in their irises. While these eye colours exude beauty, they may also be associated with specific health risks. Research indicates that individuals with green or hazel eyes may have an increased likelihood of developing cataracts, a clouding of the eye's lens, and melanoma, a form of skin cancer, according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Green and hazel eyes typically exhibit moderate melanin levels, offering some degree of protection against certain eye conditions. However, UV exposure remains a significant risk factor for both cataracts and melanoma, emphasising the importance of sun protection for individuals with these eye colours. People with green eyes are often considered creative and imaginative. This eye colour is associated with jealousy and passion. Since it is rare, it is usually deemed very attractive. People with green eyes are also often fair-skinned so that they may be at greater risk for various forms of skin cancer as well. If you have green eyes, you have less pigment in the iris. Due to this, it may be harder to block out sunlight or bright fluorescent light. As a result, your eyes may feel more sensitive to light. As green is the rarest eye colour, it is not surprising that it is ranked as the most attractive eye colour. Studies have shown that individuals with lighter eyes might have greater alcohol tolerance compared to those with darker eyes. The underlying genetic factors influencing eye colour 
may also impact neural receptors related to alcohol sensitivity. Brown eyes. Brown eyes, the most common eye colour globally, are often admired for their warmth and depth. However, having brown eyes does not exempt individuals from potential health risks. Studies suggest that people with brown eyes may have an increased predisposition to certain types of glaucoma, a group of eye diseases characterised by damage to the optic nerve. People with brown eyes have a lower incidence of eye cancer, macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. Ophthalmologists are not exactly sure why, but believe that melanin pigment may give brown eyes more protection. On the flip side, a study found that people with brown eyes were just about twice as likely to develop cataracts than individuals with light eyes. The researchers did not look at why this is true, but they did rule out other things that could make cataracts more likely like smoking and eye injury. Brown eyes, because of their high melanin content, might impact how individuals with this eye colour experience, seasonal affective disorder, SAD. The melanin in brown eyes protects against UV damage but also absorbs more light, which could potentially influence the body's internal clock or circadian rhythm during the low-light months of fall and winter. Research suggests that this increased light absorption might disrupt biological processes like serotonin regulation, possibly affecting mood. Although studies indicate that lighter-eyed individuals could be more susceptible to SAD due to less light absorption, the relationship between eye colour and SAD is not fully established, with other factors like genetics, environment and lifestyle also playing critical roles. For those with brown eyes in areas with limited winter sunlight, proactive measures such as light therapy and maximising exposure to natural light might be beneficial in mitigating SAD symptoms. Purple or violet eyes are uncommon and may arise naturally due to genetic mutations, albinism or internal eye inflammation. A mutation in the FOXC2 gene can naturally lead to purple eyes. This gene located on chromosome 15 is primarily responsible for the production of melanin, which influences both skin and eye colour. Mutations in this gene can result in decreased pigment production, giving the eyes a bluish-purple appearance. Additionally, this same genetic alteration is associated with lymphedema dystichiasis syndrome. This condition is characterised by symptoms such as limb swelling, the presence of double rows of eyelashes, and cardiovascular issues. Albinism is another factor that can contribute to purple eye colour. This genetic condition leads to reduced melanin production, affecting the colour of skin, hair and eyes. Depending on the specific albino mutations present in one or more genes, eye colour in individuals with albinism can vary from light blue to deep violet. Purple eyes may be associated with certain health complications or risks. For example, Fuchs-Uvitis syndrome, which involves inflammation, can damage sensitive eye structures and potentially worsen over time, sometimes leading to vision loss in severe cases. If purple eyes are due to a genetic trait, there are typically no direct health risks linked to the eye colour itself. However, the genetic mutation responsible for this coloration can also lead to other conditions, such as lymphedema dystichiasis syndrome. Additionally, individuals with lighter eye colours, including purple, may be at a higher risk for ocular melanoma, a type of eye cancer. Complications from this condition can range from glaucoma and loss of vision to the cancer spreading to other areas of the body. In conclusion, while these eye colour associated health risks provide insightful correlations, they should be considered as part of a broader genetic and environmental context when assessing health risks. It's important to approach eye colour as one piece of the complex puzzle of genetics and health rather than a definitive indicator of medical conditions. Environmental factors also play a crucial role. For example, exposure to sunlight can affect conditions like macular degeneration and skin cancer, and dietary habits can influence the development of vitamin D deficiencies, regardless of eye colour. Thus, it is essential to consider lifestyle and environmental exposures when assessing the implications of eye colour on health. Moreover, Using eye colour as a singular health indicator can be misleading without a comprehensive understanding of an individual's complete genetic background and environmental context. Medical professionals and researchers must therefore use a holistic approach when considering the links between eye colour and health risks.
This integrated perspective helps ensure that interpretations and health recommendations are based on a full spectrum of relevant data rather than overly simplistic correlations. This approach not only enhances the accuracy of health assessments, but also supports more personalized and effective healthcare strategies. Thank you for watching what your eye color reveals about your health risk on Healthy Vibrance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more health-related content. See you in the next video.